in 2k17 2k19 2k20 you name it i was one of the best dribblers in the game i get a dribbler i get a ice -er. and for years i have been making best dribble move videos dribble tutorial videos teaching my viewers how to become the best so today guys i will be giving you the ultimate dribble tutorial for 2k24 giving you the best dribble moves for tall builds like 6'6 six, six and 6'8 six, builds and for small builds 6'4 and under now i will be teaching you both the basics and the advanced wombo combo cheese moves that you are looking to master and i will be using the controller cam as well and i will be teaching you in slow motion as well sometimes slowing it down breaking down the process so that you guys fully understand everything and don't miss how to do every single move so since there is no my court in 2k24 i don't know why 2k would remove that we have to improvise we must head to the art of shooting facility now in nba 2k24 you come across something new every single day apparently i am underground i am phasing through everything where am I? Am I inside the building right now? I was just underneath the city. What is this? I do not know what is going on with my game, but hopefully it takes me to the art of shooting facility. There we go. So like I said, today I will be giving you all the ultimate dribble tutorial. I'll be going over the basic moves and then getting into the extremely advanced dribble moves and combos as well now i'm gonna give you guys the best dribble moves that i use on my 6-6 build with an 86 or an 87 ball handle and then the best dribble moves for small builds with around a 92 to 95 ball handle now i'm going to give you guys the best dribble moves that i use on my 6-6 build for dribble style magic johnson used to be the best but if you don't like magic johnson anymore you can try lebron james as well 2k for some reason thought it was a great idea to nerf a dribble move about halfway through the year and i don't know why when in reality guarding this dribble move is honestly just a skill issue but you can try both for the majority of this video i'll use magic johnson for signature size up steve francis is the best in the game but you have to be under six foot five and have a 95 ball handle since we can't get that use jamal murray it is the best one for regular breakdown combo you want to use james harden you need an 85 ball handle for that for aggressive breakdown combo you want to use Ja Morant. This move combos very well with the snatch back I'm going to give you guys. For escape moves, you want to use Kemba Walker. It is the exact same thing as Trey Young. And if you don't get Kemba Walker, use Kevin Durant. Trey Young requires a 92 ball handle, while Kemba Walker only requires an 86. Then, like I said, if you don't unlock Kemba Walker, make sure to use Kevin Durant. You only need a 75 ball handle for that move. For combo moves, go with De'Aaron Fox. For crossover, you want to go with John Wall. It is in insanely fast and by far the best crossover in the game for behind the back you can either use tyrese halliburton or jamal murray honestly jamal murray is the better behind the back so i recommend that one but both of them are very good for spin you can either use steve nash normal or Kawhi leonard they are exactly the same for hesitation you want to go with pro for step back you want to go with john wall and then for the hop jumper you want to go with normal now that is the best moves for a build that is around 6'6 with an 86 plus ball handle now let me give you the best moves real quick for those smaller builds for dribble style go with kyrie irving you need a 90 speed with ball if you get a 95 ball handle use steve francis if you have a 92 ball handle use trey young for regular breakdown combo, go with Darius Garland. For aggressive breakdown combo, use John Morant. Escape moves, go with Trey Young. For combo moves, also go with Trey Young. Crossover, John Wall. Behind the back, go with Jamal Murray. Spin, Steve Nash, Kawhi Leonard, or normal, just go with Steve Nash, though. For hesitation, use pro. Now, for step back, you want to go with Steph Curry, but you could also use John Wall or Luka Doncic. For these smaller builds, Steph Curry is the wave. Then for hop jump, you want to use Davion Mitchell. My dribblers, the time has come. Class is in session and it is time to turn you all into dribble demons. 
just go on ahead, drive over to the Art of Shooting or the Gatorade facility and follow along with the video. I promise by the end of it, you will be able to do all of these moves. So the first move I'm gonna teach you guys, I don't really have a name for it, but we can call it the crab walk. So what you're gonna do is you hold R2 the entire time, okay? And if you spam the move, you'll look like you're walking forwards like a crab, quite literally. So if the ball is in your right hand, you hold R2 and flick the right stick directly to the left. And then right after you do that, you immediately flick the left stick to the left and you have to do that all extremely fast and then when you want to transfer the ball from your left hand to your right hand same thing you hold r2 flick the right stick to the right and the left stick to the right now in order to spam that very fast you would do right stick to the left left stick to the left right stick to the right left stick to the right right stick to the left left stick to the left and you keep alternating that in an extremely fast motion just keep practicing until you get the speed down and then you should be able to do this move consistently this is how fast it looks at normal speed just so you guys know how fast you actually have to flick your sticks now moving on to something a lot simpler we have the magic johnson cheese so all this relies on is using your left stick you hold r2 and you move that left stick to your opposite ball hand and then you run that way as you can see i want to do it to the left here so i hold r2 hold my left stick diagonally up to the left and then run that way then if i want to do it back to the right i'll hold r2 and hold my left stick up diagonal to the right and then run that way it's a very overpowered move even with the magic johnson nerf and requires no effort now while we're going over the left stick dribbling allow me to teach you how to do the other left stick crossover that i don't think anyone really knows about or uses so for this left stick crossover you will hold r2 once again and hold your left stick directly up then it will cross the ball over and as it's crossing the ball over then you start moving your left stick to the side you want to run to so you could do that and then maybe even throw a crossover in there as well or any other moves you want it is a very easy and simple move now for our next move we have the misdirection spam you don't need to spam this move it's actually more effective if you just do it like once or twice and then mix it in with other moves but i will teach you how to spam it as well now it is exactly the same as the crab walk move except you'll be flicking your right stick diagonally down to one side and then your left stick to the opposite side instead of the same side so for example i hold r2 and flick my right stick down to the bottom right then i will flick my left stick to the left then if i want to do it the opposite way i can flick my right stick to the bottom left and then my left stick to the right so in slow motion still this is how it would look right stick diagonally down to the right left stick left right stick diagonally down to the left left stick right and then you can continue to spam that as well now this is what it does look like at normal speed as you can tell it is very fast so it could take you a little bit of practice to get used to this but just remember the left stick goes to the opposite side of the right stick and the right stick goes diagonally down so now that we know how to do both the crab walk and the misdirection spams you can mix them both in with each other and do some really cool combos so moving on to the next move we have the John Morant aggressive breakdown combo and the John Wall step back. Now you can mix these two moves in with each other very easily and they look extremely similar. They almost look identical. So for the John Morant aggressive breakdown combo, all you do is hold R2 and flick your right stick up. And for the John Wall step back, you hold R2 and flick your right stick down. So like I was saying though, you can hold R2 and flick up and down and mix those moves in with each other. Or you can mix them with other combos as well. So this is basically a short little mixture of everything that I have taught you guys so far. So you should be able to be dribble demons already. Now I am going to teach you guys how to L2 cancel, which is a very, very glitchy overpowered move. But before I get into that, I need to go over the basics with you guys real quick. So this move is possible because of the Kemba Walker escape. If you don't get Kemba Walker, make sure to use Kevin Durant. And if your ball handle is around a 92 plus, you can use Trey Young. So to do the Kemba Walker properly, you hold R2 the whole time. You flick the right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball hand. And then you have to hold your left stick somewhat up 
or diagonal up. But you have to make sure you do not hold it directly to the left or the right or else you will not speed boost. If you hold that left stick to the left or to the right, it will give you this animation. You need to hold your left stick somewhat up or diagonally up. Imagine your stick is a clock. So 12 o'clock is up, 3 o'clock is to the right. So you want it to be in between like 1 and 2 basically. So now that we know how to do the Kemba Walker or Trey Young escape move, another way you can mix that move up is by triggering the move and then simply running the opposite way. So you trigger it by flicking diagonal up while holding R2 and then you run diagonal up the opposite way and then you can start to angle your left stick more to the side. So now you know how to use Kemba Walker or Trey Young escape move in general. Now that you know how to speed boost with it in general, we can advance to the next step, which is teaching you how to L2 cancel. You see, when I do Kemba to the side, I have to stop, literally set my feet to go the opposite way. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to completely remove that and cancel it out and you will go back the other way extremely fast. Now, if you did not know, I already have a whole YouTube video specifically dedicated to this one move, just because it is that hard to get the timing down. This is going to be the hardest move I will teach you this entire video. So if you do have any trouble figuring it out, do not feel bad. This move is meant to take you an hour plus, maybe even hours to fully get it down. So if you do have any trouble figuring it out from this video, watch my entire L2 cancel video. The link is in the description down below. This right here is what the controller will look like at normal speed. I'm gonna show you guys one more time. So you do the move left and then you do the move right. But in the middle of all that, you hold the L2 button and then you let it go. But the tricky timing is to figure out when you hold that L2 button and when you let it go. Let's go over it in slow motion real quick. We start by doing the move left. So we hold R2, right stick, top left, left stick, top left. As you can see, I started to hold L2 basically right as the left stick started to return to its normal position. Let's rewind real quick and go over that timing again. So I'm holding left stick left, finishing up the first move. Then right as it finishes, that's when I start to hold L2. Now what you're gonna do is you hold L2 while you flick the right stick. That is the only time you hold L2. You only hold L2 when you flick the right stick back the opposite way. And then after you flick the right stick diagonal up to go back the opposite way while holding L2, you let go of L2 and you hold the left stick diagonal up and run that way. And then it should do the L2 cancel. Now, if you mess up the timing, it is possible for you to do a momentum instead. As you can see, I do the Kemba to the right and then I messed up the timing. So it does a momentum to the left. If that is happening to you, that just means that you're moving your left stick a little bit too early, I believe. Now, this is what it looks like at normal speed from left and then to right. You do the move left, and then when you're ready to do it to the right, you start to hold L2 right as you're about to flick your right stick. You hold L2 while you flick the right stick to the right, then you're done holding L2, you're done holding the right stick. You do not want to run while holding L2. You let go of L2 before you start to move the left stick to the right. One more time for you guys. We do the move to the left, all right? Then we finish that. We hold L2 while we flick the right stick right. We let go of L2, and then we run to the right. It's very simple. You don't hold L2 while you run with the left stick. You let go of L2, then you start to move with the left stick. It is very easy. This is how quickly you should be doing everything. It is a very fast move. So just keep practicing, don't give up. Don't get demotivated if it takes you a while to learn it. And once again, if you're having trouble learning it, I have an entire video specifically on this one move in the description down below. Now let's go over some easier moves. So this is the moving behind the back to the left and to the right. So if the ball is in your right hand, you're going to hold R2 the entire time, flick the right stick to the bottom left and the left stick to the top left, and then you'll start to run to the left. It is very easy. And then to do it to the right, you flick the right stick to the bottom right, and then the left stick to the top right, and then you run to the right. And then this is how it should look at normal speed as well. This is a very easy move to learn. Now I'm gonna put you guys onto something at least like 90% of 2K players don't even know about. 
So I'm not supposed to be speed boosting to my ball hand like this on a 6'6". Six, six. This is what it would actually look like if I were to do a behind the back and then run to my ball hand. Just by flicking your stick one extra time, it allows you to use Magic Johnson or any dribble style you want and speed boost to your ball hand. As you can see once again, if I'm doing the fat LeBron step back and go to my ball hand, it doesn't let me speed boost. But if I flick my right stick one extra time, it allows me to speed boost to my ball hand. And the cool thing about this is that it works with every single move in the game. Snatch backs, step backs, between the legs, hesitations, momentums, anything you could think of. It works the same for every single move, but let's just start with the behind the back real quick so the easiest way to explain it is basically you want to flick your right stick to your ball hand immediately after you do the move by flicking my right stick to the bottom left once that triggers the behind the back but once i flick it to the left that triggers the animation that gives the good speed boost so you'll basically flick your right stick twice but the second time you flick it you either flick it to the left or to the right whichever side the ball is going to be in because you want to run to your ball hand and that is how you get the good speed boost with only having like a 75 speed with ball with magic johnson dribble style or lebron dribble style any dribble style you want you can dribble just like you have Kyrie dribble style. Once again, to behind the back to the left, we hold R2, flick the right stick to the bottom left, and then to the left, and then we run to the left. Now to do it to the right, we flick the right stick to the bottom right, and then immediately flick the right stick to the right again. And then we run that way, and then you get the good speed boost. This is what it looks like at normal speed, so you basically just flick that right stick twice once you flick it the second time to the left or the right. It gives you the good speed boost and you will dribble just like you have Kyrie dribble style. You just have to do one extra flick with the right stick. So the same thing would apply to the snatchback animation. You hold R2, you flick the right stick down to trigger the move. But immediately after you trigger the move with the right stick, you want to flick the right stick to your ball hand inside. So the ball is in my left hand, I flick down and then immediately flick to the right and run right with the left stick. Now to go to the left, I flick down with the right stick and then immediately flick left with the right stick and then run left. It is very easy. And the crazy thing is, this is extremely useful, but not many people know about it. It's something that is very easy to do, but is also extremely useful and effective. Same thing for the fat step back. If you were to not flick your right stick a second time, you get the slow speed boost animation because you're not supposed to be able to speed boost like this. But when we flick down and then flick to the ball hand immediately with the right stick, it allows you to get that good speed boost. Also to trigger this animation, you wanna make sure you are not holding R2 when you flick the right stick down the first time. Now earlier in the video, I taught you guys that you could mix the John ja Morant with the John Wall step back. It doesn't matter which move you do first, the aggressive breakdown combo or the step back, they both basically look identical. Now to speed boost to the same side with this, you would flick down, then flick up, and then flick to the ball hand. So if we start with the ball in our left hand, we hold R2, we flick down, and then we flick up, it'll go left, and then you'll go right. And then you flick the right stick to the right, and then you get that good speed boost animation and you can run that way. Then it would be the same exact thing if you want to go to the left. So you would flick down and then flick up all while holding R2. So we flicked down and then we flicked up and we're going to flick the right stick to the left and then we run that way. It gives you the good speed boost animation. So all of this is possible just with one extra flick of the right stick to our ball hand. Just with that, we have turned Magic Johnson dribble style into Kyrie dribble style. Like I said, it works with every single move. So since we use James Harden regular breakdown combo, we flick up on the right stick without holding R2, let the animation play out, and then whenever you want to burst out of it to your ball hand, you'll just flick the right stick to that ball hand side, left or right, while holding R2. So we're gonna flick up on the right stick without holding R2, the animation will start to play out, then we hold R2 and flick the right stick to the right, and then we'll get the good speed boost and go that way. You could even just do a regular between the legs and then flick the right stick twice and speed boost to that ball hand. 
So without holding R2, flick the right stick right, and then while holding R2, you flick the right stick right again, and you can run that way. Same thing to the left, you'll flick it to the left without holding R2, and then while holding R2. So that second flick, you always have to make sure that you hold R2, otherwise you will not get that good animation. Also, back to that hard and regular breakdown combo, I really like that move because you can mix it in with the Magic Johnson dribble style. You just flick up on the right stick without holding R2 to trigger the move, and then you run with the left stick diagonal up to the opposite ball hand to Magic Johnson. Now I'm going to show you guys another pretty easy move that I don't think enough people take advantage of so with the magic johnson dribble style or whatever dribble style you want you can hold r2 flick the right stick to the ball hand and then just run that way this is all possible because of that pro hesitation and because we're taking advantage of what i was saying earlier where if you flick that right stick to your ball hand you can go that way and get a good speed boost so to go left here we hold r2 flick the right stick left and then we just run diagonally up to the left it is that easy so we've gone over a lot of dribble moves so far guys we need to take a little break real quick if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button drop a like on the video if i I've helped you out hopefully we're turning you all into little dribble demons today so the first move i taught you guys in this video was this little crab walk animation spam well now with the addition of the seam side speed boost cheese that i taught you guys you can dribble to your ball hand out of that move so you could either run to your opposite ball hand or you can speed boost to your ball hand. Now you guys should already know how to do this move. You just flick the right stick to the left, left stick to the left, right stick to the right, left stick to the right. And you follow that sequence. But whenever you're ready to speed boost to that ball hand, you're going to flick that right stick to the right twice. And then you'll be able to speed boost out to your ball hand very easily. That's just a little combo I thought I might bring to your guys' attention because it is pretty cheesy. Now it is 2k24, we should all know how to momentum by now, but if you're new to the game and you don't know how, it is okay, I got you. So to momentum, you hold R2, you flick the right stick to the opposite ball hand, and then the left stick somewhat diagonal up, and then you can run that way. Now if we want to go back to the left, we hold R2 the whole time, right stick to the left, and then the left stick to the top left or left very similar to the crab walk move i showed you guys except the timing is a little bit different so you flick the right stick and then you almost immediately hold that left stick that way as well momentuming is a very good combo starter i like to use it to start a lot of my combo sequences mix it in with like momentum behind the back or you can momentum into a whole lot of other moves as well with that being said now you guys can momentum behind the back as well so you'll take what i just taught you you'll do the momentum and then you already know how to do the behind the back so you do the momentum and then you hold r2 and flick the right stick down diagonal to the opposite ball hand the ball is in our right hand and we want the momentum behind the back we momentum to the left and then flick the right stick diagonal down to the right you can spam this move repeatedly as well you just keep momentuming to the left and then behind the back to the right. It's very easy. A few other combos you could do is the momentum step back, or you could also do the momentum snatch back, or you could even momentum and then flick the right stick to your ball hand and do that same side speed boost. In old 2Ks, we used to have the beloved spin back animation. I used to fry everyone with this where I would spin back to the three point line and get a wide open three pointer. But 2K removed this move. So at the beginning of 2K24, I was messing around with spin back moves and I kind of found my own little combo starter. So what you do is you cross the ball over and then you hold down on the left stick and it'll basically allow you to run backwards and give you a decently big boost. To start this move off, the ball's in our left hand. We don't hold R2, we flick the right stick to the right to cross the ball over from the left to the right hand. Then you hold R2, pull directly down on the left stick, and it will launch you backwards. Same thing if you want to do it with the other hand. So as you can see, the ball is in my right hand now. We're going to cross it over to the left without R2. Then we hold R2, pull down on the left stick, and then we can run backwards. It's very important you mess around with this to make sure you get the timing down because you can mess up the timing pretty easily. But once you get the timing down, it is very easy and you'll never mess up. Now that you know how to do the crossover 
into the spin back you can do that and then do the backwards half spin after that all three of those moves combined is a very good combo starter okay so first off we do the crossover into the spin back all right i already taught you guys how to do that so you should know how to do the first part so the ball is in our right hand so we want to move the right stick down and then spin it up the right side which would be going counterclockwise and then your player should do this backwards half spin now if the ball was in our left hand how would we want to spin the right stick same thing you would move the right stick down except you would move it clockwise and not counterclockwise and then your player would end up doing the backwards half spin with the ball in his left hand now you can do some pretty trolly but efficient stuff with this move as you can see i'm moving the left stick around i can just keep facing backwards and spamming the backwards half spin and then after you do that backwards half spin you could eventually do like a behind the back or a crossover to the hoop and the John Wall crossover in this game is too overpowered. So you could do that backwards half spin between the legs and then John Wall crossover to the hoop. So now you guys should be able to do all of this. The spin back, backwards half spin, between the legs, John Wall crossover to the hoop. So after I do the backwards half spin, I just hold the left stick up left and the ball will go to my left side. Then if I tap the right stick to the top right, I'll be able to do the John Wall crossover and then I will blow by everyone. Another good way to start the backwards half spin combo is by doing the dribble style, Magic Johnson or LeBron, whatever dribble style you have on. You do that and then you continue to run backwards and then you do the backwards half spin and you can do the rest of the combo. You could also do the backwards half spin between the legs into a behind the back instead of a crossover, but I like the John Wall crossover a lot more than the behind the backs in this game. Now, they did remove the spin back animation in 2K24. All right, buddy, why are we giving me a high five? I'm trying to run a dribble tutorial here. So they removed the spin back animation in 2K24, but there is still this animation that you could get as well. For example, if I'm doing a crossover to the hoop or I do it between the legs and I try to do the old spin back animation, it will give me this spin, which it still looks kind of useful. You could maybe break someone's ankles with it but you're not gonna get that open every single time. Now to do this, you cross the ball over to the right. We're gonna Magic Johnson to the left, and then we flick the right stick to the right to do the between the legs, and then we spin backwards. Since the ball is in our right hand, we're gonna flick the right stick directly down and spin clockwise. As you can see, I flick it up the left side. Now, if you wanted to do it the other way, you would spin the stick counterclockwise. All right, brother, I'm still trying to run a dribble tutorial here. Why are we dapping me up mid dribble tutorial? Now I have one move left to show you guys. I don't know what to call this, but this behind the back is teed. So you can do that backwards half spin between the legs. And then you know how I told you the regular behind the back animations suck. Well, to do this good behind the back, you flick diagonally down to the bottom right if the ball is in your left hand, and then you flick up immediately without holding R2. And the cool thing about doing this move is you can move the left stick backwards and kind of force yourself backwards instead of, you know how the regular behind the backs force you forwards? You can control where you go with this behind the back. You see here I do it and then I kind of run sideways and then backwards. You can force exactly where you want to go. You don't have to run forwards. You can run sideways. You can run to the left, to the right. It doesn't matter what hand the ball is in. You can choose what way you run after you do this behind the back. So you can get very creative with your combos with this move. It all just depends where you move that left stick. Now, if the ball is in our right hand, you flick diagonally down to the left and then up and make sure you do not hold R2. You can hold R2 after though. But yeah, I find this move really fun and creative because you can choose where you go based off of where you move the left stick after you do it. So you can get very creative with your combos. Anyways, I believe that is it for the dribble tutorial, a 30-minute ultimate dribble tutorial with Hanky Dama the Lovin, Harzima the So I shall ask this one more time, my dribblers!
Have you become dribble demons today? In the hang the tank dribble lessons, comment down below and let me know if I helped you guys out. Also, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Hank the Tank or in the comment section down below if you have any questions about any specific dribble moves. Also, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Hanky. My link is in the description down below. I live stream all the time. I really appreciate you guys watching this banger video, man. I hope I could help you all all get better at dribbling in one way or another thank you for watching i love you guys so much make sure to subscribe turn those noties on drop a like on the video and i'll see you in that next hanky the tanky banger video